know, that's, that's too short-sighted. That doesn't do anything. You have to change yourself. And we'll never do that because the dollars now, it's everybody wants a dollar and a toy. Everybody's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls so they don't, they, nobody wants to rock the boat. Nobody wants to change. Don't change anything. And we're, we're in a nice downward glide. I call it circling the drain. That's what I'm going to call my next book, circling the drain. And the, and the circles get smaller and smaller and faster and faster if you watch a drain, if you watch a sink empty. And we'll be gone. And that's fine. I welcome it. I wish I could live a thousand years to watch it happen from a distance so I could see it all. Does it depress you? No. It lifts me up. It lifts me up because I gave up on this stuff. I gave up on my uh, species and I gave up on my uh, fellow Americans. I gave up on my countrymen because I think they all, I think we squandered a great gifts. I think humans were given great, great gifts. Walking upright, binocular vision, opposable thumb, Large brain, making tools. Make tools, large brain. Large brain, make better tools. Talk, have to link language. You take this, put in here. We learned language. The brain got bigger, language. We grew. We had great gifts, and we gave it up all up for both man, uh, for both money and uh, God. God and mammon, both. We gave it up to the high priests. It's your job. It's a, God's will. That's what they say. People say it's God's will. That means God can do anything he wants, so why pray? They say, you pray for something. Okay, my, he didn't answer my prayers. Well, it's God's will. Well, if it's God's will, why did I even pray in the first place? He's going to do what he wants anyway. We gave it all up to superstition, primitive superstition, primitive shit, primitive shit. There's an invisible man in the sky looking down, keeping track of what we do, make sure we don't do the wrong thing. If we do, he puts us in hell and we burn forever. That kind of shit is very limiting. It's very limiting for this brain we have. So we keep ourselves limited, and then we want a toy and a gizmo and gold, and we want shiny things, and we want something to plug in that'll make big, big, big things for us. And, 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 and all that shit is nothing. It's nothing. We gave it all up. And Americans, who also had great gifts, when you take the theory of de democratic rule, self-government, okay, they, did, they started off wrong. They owned slaves. They didn't let women vote. They didn't let people who didn't own land vote. Fine. They got off on the wrong foot. But the ideas were good. But we fucking blew that. We polluted it. We polluted it with this stuff, things, material goods, games, gizmos, toys, gadgets, Having possessions, I just got a bigger truck. He says, see his truck? It's bigger than mine. I'm getting a new truck. Get, here's a big truck. Oh, I'm getting that one. That's what you got a video in it? You DVD too? He don't have a VD. I got a DVD, you know. Oh, please. Whatever happened, and all of that will happen, you know. And that's why I'm divorced from it now. I see it from a distance. I give myself a divorce. I say, George, emotionally you have no stake in this. You don't care one way or another. So watch it. Have fun. You know what? I say it this way. When you're born in this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. And when you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. <laughs> and some of us get to sit there with notebooks. And I'm a notebook guy. Uh -huh. oh, oh. oh, my God, did you see that? Did you see what he just did? And I watch the freak show, and I get my notes, and I make up stuff about it, and I talk about the freaks. And the freaks are all humans, and they're like me, and they're all the same. We're all the same. I'm not better. I'm not different. I'm just apart now. I'm separate. I'm over here because I put myself out of the mix. I don't have a stake in the outcome. I'm not a cheerleader for a given outcome now. Oh, they say if you scratch a cynic, you'll find a disappointed idealist. And I would admit that somewhere underneath all of this there's a little flicker of a flame of idealism that would love to see it all change but it can't do it can't happen that way and incremental change it just seems like the pile of shit is too